When is the best time to sell your EC? Hi everyone, I'm Eve from Podpedia. Today, we will talk about executive condominiums and whether there's any difference between selling it at the 5th year mark and the 10th year mark. To determine when is the best time to sell an EC, it's essential to understand the three distinct phases of an EC purchase. First is at a brand new stage, next is at its 5th year mark when it meets the MOP, and next is the 10th year when it is privatised. Let's talk about a brand new EC. Buyer for a brand new EC needs to fulfill the eligibility. Firstly, you need to be at least one Singaporean in your family nucleus and you need to qualify for one of the following schemes here. Second, your income must not exceed the 16,000 income ceiling. And lastly, you will need to fulfill the MSR loan calculations. What about the 5 year EC? At this stage, PR can start to enter the market at the 5th year mark and they do not need to form the family nucleus that is mentioned earlier. They do not have to have the income ceiling and the loan is now based on TDSR calculations. Let's talk about the 10 year mark. The only difference between a 5 year and a 10 year mark is that at the 10 year, EC will be privatised, which means foreigners can come in and buy the property, but the rest of things are the same. Now, I'll present two cases of the EC they have privatised in the last five years. The first example is the Quantin that has launched in 2004 and obtained its MOP in 2012 and privatised in 2017. As you can see, there was a significant price increase at the point of MOP all the way until the year 2013, after which the price remains stagnant. This shows that at MOP point, there is a price jump and at the point of prioritizations, the price didn't move much. The second example I'll be discussing is La Casa, which was launched in the year 2006 and MOP in 2013, prioritized in 2018. As you can see, there was a similar trend which the price jumped from the MOP point until 2014, after which the prices remained stagnant even at the point of privatizations. This can be attributed to the fact that at the point of privatization, as previously mentioned, furnace buyers are permitted to purchase the property. However, in the case of La Casa, only 0.2% of the ownership belongs to the foreigner's buyer, indicating that there is not much foreign interest in the property at the point of privatization. Having said that, I will now explain why is there a price jump at MOP point. The main difference between a brand new EC and a 5-year MOP EC is that there are two key different criteria for purchaser eligibilities. First, for a 5-year MOP EC, they do not need to fulfill the family nuclear scheme and permanent residents PR are allowed to purchase the property. Take the Ola, a brand new EC launched in 2020. The buyers are 100% Singaporeans as compared to a privatised EC La Casa case earlier, the PR stands about 27%. Next, the key difference for our loan calculations for 5-year MOP ECs is based on TDSR. Do you know there's a difference between TDSR and MSR when it comes to loan calculations? MSR is calculated based on 30% of your income, while TDSR uses 55% of your gross income minus any liability. If you consider someone with a 10,000 income with no liabilities, they could qualify for a loan of 609,000 based on MSR and 1.18 million based on TDSR. Due to the significant loan difference at the 5-year mark, buyers will have a greater purchasing power, may enter the market and drive out the prices of an EC. Additionally, there could be an increase in PR at the 5-year mark which could be contributed to the price increase as well. As for the 10-year mark, when the EC privatised, the primary difference compared to a 5-year mark is that foreigners are eligible to purchase. Take the instance of La Casa development, it currently only has 0.2% of foreigner ownership. This may explain why prices remain stagnant after the EC reach privatisation. From this, as long as you understand the demand and supply dynamics of a property, it can help you to evaluate whether the price will go up. At the 5-year mark of an EC, it is usually a surge in demand, which results in the price increase. Conversely, at a 10-year mark, prices do not move significantly because there is no new demand entering the market at that point of time. If you have the knowledge of understanding the demand and supply of your property type and its location, you can make informed decisions about the price movement for the next 5 to 10 years. As an EC owner, while waiting for your property to privatise, and when you notice the price didn't fluctuate much, it's worth to think about your next move. And knowing what to buy next is equally important as knowing when to exit. If you find my video useful, do like and subscribe and share. 
I'll see you in my next video.